For oxygen administration, we need an oxygen tank, a regulator, an oxygen key, and a device to administer our oxygen. The oxygen tank, we're gonna have our oxygen wrench. With that, we can use on the top of our tank is how we turn it on and off. We'll slip our oxygen wrench on top. We're gonna crack the tank to make sure that the opening is clear. We know that any debris has been blown out. We'll take our regulator. This is what's going to regulate the air that comes out of our tank so we can control how much comes out. The regulator has a two pin index system. So if you look inside of your regulator, you'll see two pins that match up with two pins on your tank. Those two pins will the two male pins will slide into the two female pins on the tank and you'll hand crank the screw on the back of your regulator till it's tight. With your oxygen wrench, crack your tank. All you need is a quarter of a turn and you'll listen for leaks. If you hear a leak, it will be obvious and then you need to figure out if you need it tighter or if you need an O-ring or where the leak is. After we've listened for links, leaks, we'll look at our regulator to check our pressure to see that we have oxygen in our tank. If we see we have 1,500 pounds here, set our tank down, grab our administration device. This is going to be our non-rebreather mask. Plug it into the regulator, and we're going to turn our flow rate to 15 liters per minute. We have a range of 10 to 15, depending on what our patient requires. Make sure that you set your tank down rather than have it stand up. We're gonna put our finger over the one-way valve to pre-fill our reservoir. We'll see our bag start to fill. And then talking to our patient, we'll put this mask over their face this is going to go over your face and around your head. And then we'll pull these blue, uh, green tabs to secure it to our patient's face and squeeze this over their nose. And there's our oxygen administration. 